Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, your brother J uh, Slakia. Your brother JD Nija uh, Slakia. Here with another message of edification, exhortation for the believers in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, our Heavenly Father. People call God. <clears throat> Yahweh Shai is our big brother and our deliverer who people call Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, Yeshua, Yahshua, <clears throat> Yahweh. All the same guy, different names. And the <clears throat> Holy Spirit, the Rikaha Kodash, <clears throat> which is the holy connection between <clears throat> the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and <clears throat> the men who know Him. <clears throat> Good morning. Heavenly Father, we come before you humbly with a contrite spirit and a loving heart. <clears throat> to pray for our people, the ones you love, to give us strength in these dangerous, perilous times we live in. And to uplift our hearts in your word and your truth. Amen. <clears throat> So, I was going to go into a little bit about um, how I got my biblical name. Pretty simple how I got it, but <clears throat> a lot of what <clears throat> the Lord tells you, and see, that's, what <clears throat> that's why it's so hard to explain. Um, <clears throat> it's like trying to tell someone that you hung out with Jack Nicholson or something. Unless you have a letter from him or one of his <coughs> shirts from one of the shows or his shoes or something, people just aren't going to believe you. So, um, when it comes to the Heavenly Father, <clears throat> That's where faith comes in is um, feeling that energy somehow or um, <clears throat> knowing in your heart, which is your mind, that it's true. And um, <clears throat> part of that has to do with <clears throat> Slakia. Pretty cold. <clears throat> Glad I wasn't in the tent last night. <laughs> Would have been pretty cold. I think it's <clears throat> like 43 right now. 7.30. Um, anyhow. Um, so it was probably a little over a year ago. The Lord told me. Um, Your name's going to be Adonijah. And I had heard the name in the Bible before. But I didn't know. I was like, Adonijah, who the heck's that? And um, when I found out that I was part of the tribe of Benjamin, when he told me that years ago, um, in a lot of ways, I wasn't all that happy because um, <clears throat> there was good things about Benjamin and there was bad things. And the bad things kind of hit home a little bit. Um, they were, the Benjamites were, um, overly sexualized for one, which, um, <clears throat> which, <laughs> which lined up with the, with the reality. Cause I'm, I'm a little bit that way too. 
<laughs> but not in the not in the the mo way, but just um, Benjamin's that way. We're we're very intense. And um, <clears throat> the other part of being Benjamite was um, rebellious, and and you know King Saul was the first king of Israel, and um, he had to get taken out because he wouldn't listen. Stubborn. And proud, right? Besides the fact that Benjamin was very warlike, was a fighter, and would <clears throat> choose a fight at the drop of a dime. I could go through scriptures to um, point these things out, but... <clears throat> These are things that most people should already know because Benjamin's one of the more written about tribes in the Bible. Benjamin and Judah and then Ephraim and, you know, uh, some of the other tribes, they have their stories, they have their men. <clears throat> but anyway, so then um, when he told me I was Adonijah, I went, oh, crap. He doesn't tell you who you are. To make you happy. He tells you who you are. So you can know. How to behave from here on out. So when I studied up on Benjamin. I decided. I was going to try not to be so. Sexualized and. Um, not fight so much. And stop being rebellious. Didn't work that well. It's in my nature. And that's the point I'm 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 trying to to bring out right now is that um we all have our nature, we have our spirit, and our spirit is the way it is. And um he's gonna he's gonna work that spirit. To his will, not your will. So I'm still tempted by a pretty face, a nice butt, um, a willing, a willing partner. I'll still fight people bigger and stronger than me just because I'm mean, and I still rebel against the father. To a certain extent, because I'm in this world, right? I'm in this fallen place, so I have a fallen spirit. But the goal is to get better. But anyhow, so back to Adonijah. Um, he, uh, he tried to usurp the kingdom from Solomon. And when he did that... Um, Nathan told Solomon, hey, your brother's telling everyone he's going to be king. And um, Bathsheba went to David and said, hey, you know, Adonai's just trying to serve the kingdom. You're going to have to put your foot down and, and um, publicly anoint Solomon as king. So he did that. And when Adonijah heard heard of it, he went to Solomon and said, "What what's going on?" And, and Solomon said, "You little fucker, you little prick," and made Sol made Adonijah promise not to um not to be a bad boy anymore. So I was I was reading up on the horns of the altar. This is what brought it up because um Solomon wanted to put him to death, but he spared Adonijah and Adonijah ran to the altar and he, he grabbed onto the horns of the altar. And I, I always pictured it as, um, some kind of idol. <laughs> I thought it was, and it is kind of like an idol. It's, it's where they sacrifice the animals. I found out this morning. I'm like, what is the horns of the altar? I better find out. 
So the horns of the altar, they were like a, it was like a barbecue pit. You know how um, it's a flat pit, but the way they, they made it, they made it go up on the sides, right? So that every anything that you sacrificed would be in this bowl type thing, right? So the, the horns of the altar were the four corners. And that's why when I say um, we're probably not on a round spinning wet ball rocket, the altar was a representation of the, um, of the earth because underneath there was dirt so that anything that fell through the grates, it would get in that earth, you know, and, and that's a sim, symbolic of, um, of burying people. You know, or you burn them like Gad used to burn their dead up on stakes, you know, and the stuff would fall through the stakes and it would go back to the earth. But um, that's that's just part of what I was studying about the altar. But so Adonijah comes to find out, you know, I read and I, I knew this when I first found out Adonijah was a handsome dude. <laughs> so that 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 lines up. And um, prideful, like a Benjamite. He was actually Judah, but that's where I probably get my Judah Benjamin. I'm I'm a little bit of both tribes. My spirit has been. Um, those two tribes are like this anyway. But um, Adonijah ended up getting put to death by Solomon, and the reason Adonijah acted the way he did was because. Um, and, and I kind of passed over this when I read it before. The reason Adonijah was the way he was is because his father didn't discipline him enough. David, King David. And in the Bible, it says, um, something like, how huh? David never asked his son, why do you act the way you do? Which he should have. He said, "Why you? Why you behave like that?" So when I read into Adonijah, I'm like, "Fuck! No wonder I'm so um, loyal now to Yahushai because I have a lot of paying to do for um, being a devil." Being a devil. And um, so I just wanted to um, kind of clear that up because the, the just of the <laughs> I did, I was I almost forgot to to tell the main point of the story is um my father was the same way. My earthly father, Kenneth Deloach. Kenneth Norman seven letters in the first name seven letters in the last name as myself seven letters in the first name seven letters in the second name um, Although he had six in the middle and I had four on my middle name, six would be the number of man. And he was very, very of this world. So the six between the sevens, um, he was up, he was, he was good as a man. But the four in, in Allen is, um, represents mercy. And if, if there's anyone who, um, needs mercy, it would be Jeffrey Allen. So that's that story. That's how I got my um, J.D. Nyjah. Adonijah, J.D. Nyjah is um, how I got my... How the Lord... <laughs> it was already written. But... Um, he knew I was never going to figure it out. So some of these things he has to tell you. And so when he told me that, I went, 
Okay, so that's that's true. So I am. And I have to um, keep that in the back of my mind. So when 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 Adonijah grabbed the horns of the altar, he was um, the horns of the altar are um, the horns mean power, divine power. So he ended up being a sacrifice. He 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 was put to death, and he probably knew that's why he grabbed the horns of the altar. He was he finally humbled himself and said. Have mercy on me, Lord. I'm 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 undone. So anyway, um, let me see what I got. Sixteen. Um, I guess I'll just do what I always do: open up and and see what we got, and uh, hopefully it's edifying. And oh, <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not joking. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I. It says naming and presentation. So <clears throat> this is another example, people. I don't know exactly what this is going to say <clears throat> because we're in Second Luke, and um, you know the New Testament was never my strong point until recently I'm starting to really enjoy the New Testament because I didn't understand a lot of it before um, these things were opened up to me in the last couple of years and um, now when I go into the New Testament it's it's new <laughs> I was always a prophecy guy and uh, um, a history guy so I loved I loved kings you know I loved the family stories because that's that's where I related. So I opened, <laughs> I was just talking to you about how I got my name, right? <clears throat> and I opened to a, <laughs> a passage called Naming and Presentation. I'm almost afraid to read what it says. It might not, it might not have anything to do with the Lord naming his people or, or anything, but um, that, I thought that was quite interesting. And see, if you're not here every day, You'll never know who I am. You'll never know. You'll bump into me and go, that guy sure does jump around on different subjects. It, it's not me jumping around. It's the Lord. He wants you, he he doesn't want you to get it unless you want to get it. And that's, that's the point. Naming and presentation, Luke 2, verse 21. Oh, it's when they, <clears throat> it's when they named, I should have known, it was when they named Jehoshai. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called <laughs> Jesus, uh, Joshua, Yahshua, Jehoshai, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. <clears throat> So he was conceived by what? He was conceived by the Holy Spirit from what we know. Um, and when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Yerushalem, Jerusalem, to present him to the Lord. And this is what I was saying. It, it's, it's, it was written that um, I was, I'm at Adonijah because... Um, it's already been told. The story, see, what people don't understand is the story is already been told. All, all we're doing is um, we're the best actors ever. We're playing out the story that the Lord wrote. Our spirits keep coming back and acting out these, these spiritual actions to um, tell the perfect story that he once told. So, whatever you think you're going to do, you're, you're probably not going to do that. You're going to do what he tells you to do. And when the days of her purification, so on and so forth, the law of Moses were accomplished. Accomplished is completed. 
As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. <clears throat> so this is where um, you realize that um, wow, that men men are the men are the dope men are the shit for sure, but um, every male that open openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Every every man that comes out of the every even the wicked Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Very, very hard to understand that. Um, it, does, it doesn't even go into it. Uh <clears throat> Slakia. Let's go to as it is written in the law. Every male that openeth the womb, every male that openeth the womb. Um, B. Salakia brothers. Exodus 13 2. Everyone? Exodus 13 2. Every, every male that comes out of the womb. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by the strength of hand the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be ate, eaten. Salakia, so, brothers. This is, this is why studying is such a, such a trippy thing. Because some of this stuff is just... 13.12, sorry, Salakia. Um, Exodus 13.12. Um, that thou shalt set apart unto the Lord that has opened the matrix. Holy moly. I guess he's talking about Israelites. For thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the male shall be the Lord. So there you go, women, you fuckers. See, a lot of people that doesn't hit very hard, they don't get it. I could, I could, I could go off right now and get pissed and yell and scream and be a, a little bitch about the way women have been on this planet, planet plane, this flat earth, this earth. Fucking wicked, man. Set apart under the Lord. Cause to pass over. The matrix is the womb. <laughs> you know why? Because you're you're once you leave the womb, you're you're here. <laughs> that's why they that's why babies cry. Because <laughs> they just entered the fucking matrix. That's funny, you didn't know the Matrix was in the Bible, huh? Let me see what I got. 24. A couple more minutes. Let's let's look into this a little bit more. And then um I'll go somewhere else unless this takes us somewhere 
more interesting. I mean, it's that it's interesting that man, the Lord loves his man. You women, man. Wow, wowzers. All I can say is <laughs> you you got yourself some trouble ahead, a lot of you women. No no disrespect. Um every male that openeth the womb uh, be gosh darn it, I'm struggling today just to just to stay on point here. Numbers three thirteen. Nothing new, I guess, right? Numbers 313. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, if I can find numbers. Bonehead. Numbers 313. <laughs> Not my morning. <laughs> I got all wound up on that Adonijah thing. It's like, I can't. Focus. Same same thing. It says, uh, and behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that openeth the matrix among the children of Israel. Therefore, the Lev Levites shall be mine. Because all the firstborn are already mine. For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn of Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be. I am the Lord. So there you go again. Males, firstborn males. The Le Levites, the Levites are mine, mine, mine. So here I am sitting in my truck doing a message and the neighbors just uh, 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 staring at me. It looks like he's got devil horns on his shirt too. You devil. All right, well. <laughs> and then right after that, it goes into the, um, the descendants of Levi. And the first, the first family was the Gershonites, and that's where, um, that's where the singers came from. And um, I have ties to that family too. They camped on the same side as um, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh. But anyway, enough about the family line and and the spiritual. Regeneration of people. But it makes you wonder when you see people like Joe Biden, like Vladimir Putin. Who are these world leaders? Who, who are they? Who were they in the regeneration? Some of these wicked, some of these wicked rulers, these Caesars, these, um, these pharaohs, that's who these fuckers are. And they're back doing the same thing that they've always done. Um, enslave people and and oppress people and, and war with people and stab each other in the back. And so when you when you think of that this regeneration, you can look at yourself and say, Who am I? Lord, who am I? And uh, you might not like what you find, but that's your that's your last best chance of getting to know the Lord and knowing what you're you're supposed to do, even if it's wicked, even if it's to come shoot JD Nigel in the back of the head. If that's what you were meant to do, figure it out. You won't you won't be able to not not figure it out anyway I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get something else I'll be back this will be <laughs> two different messages I, I don't know who's edified by that message it was for somebody 
But um, it's your brother, J.D. Nijah, and all praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son and the Holy Spirit that is doing a marvelous work on this earth right now. All right, I'll be back. Shalom. Or I won't be back, but I'll <laughs> see, you, see you next message. <laughs> Woo!